Hi there, my name's Charlie. You may know me as the guy who tried to run for president. You may also know me as the guy who forced all of his friends to sit down for an hour and answer a bunch of stupid questions for a dumb YouTube video. However, what a lot of people don't know is that I'm also a cheese historian. Cheese is one of the best foods ever created, and that's a fact. If you deny it, you're wrong. I'm sorry, that's just how it is. And unfortunately, not a lot of people know the origin of such an amazing creation. Which is why, as someone who lives in America's dairy air, America's dairy state, it's my duty to inform these people of their wrongdoings and teach them the history of cheese. What do you have? What about me? I'm lactose intolerant. I don't, I don't eat cheese. Just, do I really have to listen to this? This includes you too. Be quiet and listen. Anyway, cheese was likely created around 1615 BCE, and it was probably created by accident. And making cheese was probably one of the best mistakes humanity has ever made. It created such an amazing food. And it's not like it created an industry that's gonna slowly destroy the climate. <laughs> Get out of here, that can never happen. Anyway, cheese was probably created by accident. A long time ago, people used to carry food inside of lamb guts, basically. And someone was probably carrying some milk and it turned into cheese curds. It's not a joke, that's probably what happened according to the Wikipedia article I used to research this video. <laughs> Only the most reliable source of information for this channel. Anyway, now that we had created cheese, people are, were reasonably like, hey, can, can we get some more of that? And so we did! Boom! Cheese making started. People took some milk, they churned it, they strained it. Cheese. That's how it's made. Look at that. We made some cheese. Mmm. <laughs> cheese making. Yeah, unsmart people think that cheese making originally started in the Middle East, but anyone with a functioning brain knows that it started here in Wisconsin. That's why they call us cheese heads. Hi there, my name is Charlie. Are you tired of making cheese by hand? Are you tired of spending your entire day making one single slice of cheese? Well, lucky for you, we're in the industrial age now, and we have this new cheese maker. It'll speed up your cheese production a lot, and you can buy it today for like 10 bucks. I don't know, I know how much cheese equipment costs back then. Google it, I don't, I don't know. And as technology started to get better and better, more and more cheese started to be created, thanks to a little thing called factories. Hey, labor. Today, cheese is enjoyed by everyone. What about me? I'm the lactose intolerant guy who's wearing a winter jacket in the middle of summer from the beginning of the video. Dude, I... I don't eat cheese. I think your statistic is a little wrong. Yeah, I've read on the internet it's basically harmless, so you can probably just eat that and you'll be hey, okay. Where did this thing come from? I mean, if it's from the internet, it must be right. <laughs> 